Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Random Brick Reviews. So today we have Stratego, the Fantasy Edition, or the Ice and Fire Edition. Got from the thrift store, five bucks, or four ninety nine. Uh, I think I probably get on sale for two fifty because they do like half off a lot. So either way, it's worth five bucks, even as a backup copy. Because I do have a copy of this. I have played it. It's a lot of fun. I like Stratego, original Stratego. Uh, this one I think is just better. Because that's like a fantasy aspect with some extra powers that makes the game a little more f fun, in my opinion. Still, same basic uh, premise, just some special powers added to each unit, which I think is helps the game out. So there you see the ice and fire, blue and red. So just like Stratego, blue and red. And yeah, I'm some Bradley games here. Uh, we made a, another edition of this, like a space edition, which I can't find. Uh, I think it's kind of expensive now. So if you see that one, I'll grab it. Or this one. This one's a good game. Um, I think I like the fancy aspects a little bit better. But I would like to have the space edition as well. Alright, got our instructions in Spanish and English, looks like. Intact. Not too long. A couple pages. Uh, nice big book, kind of fold out like, you know, like a play mat, which I can't stand. Let's open the board here. There's our pieces. So there's no dice or anything in Stratego or cards. All right, it's a four fold out board. A little bit of wear and tear in the middle there. And it's kind of bend up a little bit, bends up a little. But still. Very usable. Looks good. The colors are good. You can read everything, which is nice. Uh, those middle two squares, like one has the like ice and one has like the volcano, looks like. Uh, those are uh, impassable in, on the game. So I think they were like rocks or something in the original Stratego. I can't remember. Let's look at some of the character types we have here. We have a dragon, a mage, a knight, a beast rider, a sorceress, a yeti, an elf. A dwarf, a scout, and a slayer. So some of those powers you saw like Rampage. Each side is pretty much identical. Yeah, it's putting out those squares again where you can't pass. I like the color of this board. This thing looks good. So it's pretty cool looking, I think. Alright, so now we have the pieces. It's kinda nice about buying this <laughs> used as all the stickers are already on. That's kind of kind of a tedious process. Dump them out. And we're supposed to have 30 fire, 30 ice. Uh, your label sheet, which was the stickers, your instructions, which we have. All right. So I went ahead and counted them out. And I was like, well, I came up with 31. I was like, that can't be right because it said 30 and 30. So maybe this person uh, had an extra stego and threw an extra one in. It's blank because I have a sticker on it, I noticed. I was counting them, I was like, it's 31. <laughs> so I was like, ah, well, I was just counting. So I did it again. And it, like I said, each one had a, a blank extra one. So I counted the second time just to make sure. I was like, okay, we all have a blank extra piece, which is nice. In case you lose something, but without the sticker, I guess you could print one out maybe. I don't know. But it's still nice to have an extra uh, solid piece. You could just read the board of what, um, what one you're missing, which is okay. So more than one, I guess, would get a little confusing. So 31 and 31 pieces in this uh, thrift store, <coughs> Stratego. So got a bonus, I guess. So that is Ice and Fire, an unboxing. Pretty easy game to pick up and play. It's a classic, a uh, little bit of a twist on it, which I think is a good twist. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night wherever you are.